Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, to my Unica playthrough of East Origin, going once again through the Flooded Prison. Last episode, we went and we killed, uh, well, we didn't kill, but we defeated Epona, and, uh, had a bit of a story, a bit of story told to us, and now we're going to move forward on with Flooded Prison. And we're gonna get all the way to the boss door. That's, you know, before the boss. But, I was just making sure I had my uh, water dragon scales equipped because it was a little while after I recorded the last one before I recorded this one. So I didn't remember. But I did. The water dragon scales allows me to breathe underwater for longer. And also, I failed that jump. And, you know. Killing these shrimp things. I don't. That I just call them shrimp things. I don't know the names of like any of the enemies here besides the, like the actual characters, and that's because they're in story stuff. But you know, I call these golems. But I don't freaking know. They're giant smashy things that like get bigger. So, moving on, we've got our uh, poison spitter enemies here that will later be uh, flame spitters, or pyros as I like to call them, but they don't exactly shoot fire right now, they shoot poison, so they're not exactly pyros right now. Once again, those uh, big slammy guys, if they slam their fists in the ground, they friggin' hurt. And I'm gonna mess this up. I took way too long. And so yeah, it <laughs> took way too long. This uh, puzzle I was really bad at. It's not really a puzzle, it's just a time jumping thing. Made it that time though, and we got another emerald! So our spin to win is stronger. Yeah! Screw you, giant golem thing. Now, one thing that's really different from Unica and, uh, I believe Toll has- No, Toll doesn't really have this. That I remember, anyways. Uh, that's different from, uh, the other characters. She kind of has- a combo. I don't remember if Toll has really a combo himself. It doesn't really... I guess we'll find out when we play as him. But, uh... Basically, uh, Hugo had just straight damage the entire time. By the way, as I said before, just use a special ability on these, uh on these little jellies, and you'll get more of them, and you'll get more XP, and you'll get more SP, and they kinda die pretty fast. But, uh, anyways... With, uh... With Unica, if you just use your basic attacks, uh... They, they'll do different damages, and it's kind of obvious when, uh, these golem guys are, uh doing their little whatever it is. And this is the reason why we needed the dragon scales, because we couldn't get through this maze without it. Yeah! But, uh... Without, uh... She does a couple of slash, and then she does a down slash at the end of her combo, which is a lot stronger. And so it'll do more damage. Unlike Hugo, where he just shot energy blasts, and they all did approximately the same damage. Pretty much the same damage. We have, uh... reached the... safe point, but I'm not making this a less than five minute episode by going from save point to save point. So, uh... We're going on to the next save point. That save point really isn't very, uh needed, <laughs> let's say. And we meet these crab enemies. I don't even know what they are. They're like water 
They, they walk on water. We'll call them Jesus Crabs. No, we won't do that. They're uh, kind of annoying. Extremely annoying, especially when you're Unica. And they keep running away because they're pussies. So, yeah. But, uh... I, like I said, I don't remember... Because Toll has his claws that he uses. I don't remember if he just slashes mindlessly or if he has, actually has a combo sequence. And Unica actually has two combo sequences because she gets a second weapon. But, uh... We'll find about that... Find out about that later. In fact, uh, that would be in the uh, Guilty Fire level. Because she gets the new weapon when she gets her fire ability, which is in the Guilty Fire area, if you remember from my Hugo playthrough. Or if you came here without going to my Hugo playthrough, then... Okay. Doesn't bother me, because it's basically the same game with a little bit of different storyline. The only one that really changes anything is, is uh, Toll. Uh, a lot of the puzzles in the area change, and, um, and mini-bosses change, where mini only mini-bosses change here, and you also get an extra final boss as Toll, but we'll see that when we play as Toll. So, yeah. Also, Toll is a bit harder because he's close range like Unica, but he's also, uh, quite squishy. Unica has a bit more defense to her. Toll is more about getting in, killing people, and getting out. Unica is, like, all about pressing her face against people until they die. Gameplay style-wise, anyways. So, you don't want to hit the spikes if you can help it. And I just mess up a lot. Uh, after we get... Uh, well, I messed up there, but... I messed up a lot later. Obtained the Rota Fruit! Which uh, can get us a very important item. I believe, if I remember correctly. I can't remember at all. Pretty sure we get a Topaz from this Rota Fruit. Well, well, from the Rue that we give this Rota Fruit to. I'm just trying to bypass enemies. I don't like fighting in this uh, watery thing. But I don't have to, especially in that area. It's just kind of weird. And we're going to get... Oop, the Levin Strike Warhammer! Yeah, which gives us our yellow ability. Which you will be seeing in this episode, because we need it in order for, to progress. I recorded this yesterday, and I don't- I still don't- I'm not 100% on what the Rue gives us. And I just run into spikes. But yeah, that is our yellow ability there. The, uh... I just call it the- the crashy thingy. Uh, the ground slam, or whatever. Running into spikes again. Just running into all kinds of spikes. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, and like I said before, you cannot comp you cannot charge uh, the ability until you gain a gem of that color. And so we need a topaz in order to charge it, and we need to kill these guys that we couldn't damage before. And I just completely missed all of my abilities, so I had to wait for it to recharge. Also, Eleven Strike Warhammer ability can do that. Break cracked walls. Which are, in fact, very important. And so... Now 
no, I have. I, I passed one up, unfortunately. And I was trying to remember where it was, but he's right down here. In the bottom left side of the screen. Of the area, I mean. And so we get an advance now, and we also obtained the medallion so we can open the boss door, so, you know, everything's all good. Onwards and upwards. I'm wasting way too much time fighting these guys. I don't like fighting in this water, it's kind of awkward. And, uh, I don't really pay that much attention to my breath meter. Until about right here, I'm like, oh crap, I'm almost out of breath. I can't waste time on these guys until I really find a thing. Actually, no, I didn't think about that yet. Right about now is when I started thinking about it. And I'm like, oh, I was trying... I remembered one of these guys dropped uh, air when they died, but I ended up just wasting more time. There's a chest here with the Salitin Pancrea, the health upgrade. Which, now that I'm watching this, I remembered I did not use at all. I usually like to use it as soon as I get it, but if you do that, then you unequip your dragon scales. And if you unequip your dragon scales, then you run out of air a lot faster. And I was still underwater. I'll have to remember that for when I go fight the boss, because I haven't fought the boss yet, actually. I merely did uh, this section here, and then, because uh, I was a little, a little pressed for time. I got, I got somewhat of a life, not much of one, but somewhat, and then I completely failed that jump for whatever reason. I make videos on YouTube. I don't have that much of a life. I have some. Let's just screw that guy. Screw you. I'm going to the boss store. So, yeah. And here are newer enemies. We won't... After after the flooded prison, we won't really be seeing them much until I want to say until Demon Core, which is the final area. But I don't really remember that much. And they make this entire freaking place slippery, and it's annoying as butts. A lot of Yunka's ability have good area of, of effect power. So, uh, that's always good. And with Yunka, you, you really want to be switch. uh, you can be switching a lot more, uh, effectively. Like, her abilities seem to flow together better. Whereas, Hugo's was, one's a mine that you leave behind you, one of them's a shield, and the other one's a flaming shield. So, you know... It's not really a flaming shield, but you had flame things rotating around you. But yeah, we found the Roo. Wow. Sorry about that. Found the Roo, and he gave us a Topaz. I was correct, he gave us a Topaz. And as for that, we have a Topaz. Topaz, Topaz, Topaz. So now we can charge our strike ability. And it gives us that. It basically gives us a larger form of that, and it stays on the ground longer. And it will be very helpful for the boss. Which, uh, if you watched my Hugo playthrough, you know I had a lot of trouble with the boss as Hugo. But, uh, mostly because even though I'm Let's Playing this, I was Let's Playing the game, there were some things that I just kind of forgot about like charging your abilities. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I was so dumb. And, and the thing is, I remembered that you could charge the fire ability, but I didn't even, like, when I first played as Hugo, I didn't use the bombs at all. And that was really dumb of me. After now playing as Hugo for this LP. 
and seeing how strong the bumps can be and their utility effect. But now we're in the area for uh, the boss door. There is the boss door. These guys are gonna take me. Gonna take some work. But uh, yeah. Uh, this, I, I just kind of kite them around and try and use full-charged, uh, Warhammer stuff. So yeah, once we kill these guys, we'll have access to the save point and the boss door. And I am going to upgrade my shoes and save the game. And the next time I play, I will try and remember to use the health upgrade that I forgot to do this episode. And, uh... Yeah. Post-commentary. So, save point is now active. And so is the boss door. Upgrading our boots and then saving some ex uh, some SP because uh, I want a very certain upgrade. But uh, so yeah, next episode shall be the boss. See you then.